Hey, welcome back, everybody. I'm Chris Hyland. Thanks so much for joining us here at Courageous Media. So glad you could join us. Today, we're going to be checking out another Tom McDonald video as we start to dive down the Tom McDonald rabbit hole. It's been fun. It's been funny. It's been eye-opening sometimes. It's been confirming. But now we're going to take a look at the system. And so I'm excited to see that. Before we do, if you could please smash the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, let everybody you know uh, about the channel so we can help it grow. We really appreciate all your love and support. So let's dive in right away to the system. Welcome to the world, baby boy. I'll paint you red and white and blue. The indoctrination starts as soon as you come out the womb. Pretty quick, we'll make you stupid with curriculums at school. And if the classroom doesn't do the trick, we'll make you watch the news. Pick oh my gosh. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> just right off the bat, he's right between the eyes. Ouch. The indoctrination starts the minute you come out the womb with curriculums in school that make you stupid. And if that doesn't work, we're going to make you watch the news. Man, I, he, he has some incredible insights. And the way that he can put them to a rhyme, because I think a lot of the things he's saying, most people realize, most people, I'm not everybody, but most people realize that that's the game that's afoot. But the fact that he can put it to music and put it in a rhyme, I think, really helps open people's eyes. The minute we come out of the womb, the indoctrination starts. We get stuck in school where it's a giant indoctrination factory for 12 years, for, for 12 grades, like 18 years. I mean, it starts, it, it goes back to things. I mean, the only, the only thing I'll disagree with in his, in his first line is we'll paint your red, white, and blue. Because actually, they don't anymore in school. Now they teach us, now they teach kids to hate their hate the United States. It was all based on slavery. It was all based on the 1619 Project. Uh, everybody was a racist. Everybody was uh, a crook. Uh, all the founding fathers were evil. Like they've actually worked to tear apart the foundations that, that brought us together in this country uh, to the point they didn't even teach the Constitution or civics anymore. And then if that doesn't work, well, let's just indoctrinate you with the news and 24 uh, seven cycles of violence and depravity. Wow. This is okay. Let's back this up, man. He starts right between the eyes from the get go. Starts as soon as you come out the womb. Pretty quick, we'll make you stupid with curriculums at school. And if the classroom doesn't do the trick, we'll make you watch the news. Pick your team, right or left. Pick the red pill or the blue. You can vote, but even if you win, still everyone will lose. Don't forget to buy designer because Gucci makes you cool. We prioritize material belongings over truth. Get a job that you can't stand so you can buy some kids. Wow. Pick your team, left or right. All right? We've, we, we, we got a representative republic. It's ruled by a two party system. But here's the problem what we really have is a uniparty. Republicans and Democrats, most of them are, are, are so the same. Uh, I've, as I've heard many people say, 90% of all Republicans are actually just Democrats. And what we have is a uniparty. Even, even, when we elect, even when you elect Republicans, what really changes? The only time things really changed was under Trump. And not because he was a Republican, but because he was, out, he was an outsider. He's the only president in the last 50 years not to start a war in his term. So what we see is a continual doing of the same, a continual shipping of money out of the country, a continual dedication to the swamp where all of the, all the capitalist cronies, all the politicians, they all get rich and we all lose. That's the uniparty. Uh, he's right. He's spot on. Wow. That, that is a big part of the system. Okay. Woo. Uh, this could take a while. This is way to go, Tom McDonald by designer because Gucci makes you cool. We prioritize material belongings over truth. Get a job that you can't stand so you can buy some cans of food. Go over Oil Our democracy exists so that you think that you can choose, but our algorithms make you do what we want you to do. What's the problem? You're depressed. Society has you confused. We got medication for you that you'll probably abuse. Go get married to a lady who also don't have Okay, wow. All right. <laughs> go get a job so you can try to survive. Or go fight a war overseas because there's some oil we could use. You know the worst part about that is? We've done that for, what, 50 years? Ever since OPEC started back in the, in, in, in the, in the 70s? But what, what they've lied to America about and what actually became readily apparent under Trump was that the United States can be energy independent and they can do it almost overnight. 
If we turn on drilling here, refining here, whether it's offshore drilling, drilling up in uh, in Alaska, all of all the shale that we have, we have the largest petroleum reserves in the world at this point. Now that we figured out how to get them out of the ground, and yet we've got a government that continually tries to shut down our energy production so that we can buy it from overseas and go to war to protect it. It's insane. It's absolutely, it's absolute insanity. Wow. This is okay. We're going to back that up because I probably missed half that verse. <laughs> our democracy exists so that you think that you can choose, but our algorithms make you do what we want you to do. What's the problem? You're depressed. Society has you confused. We got medication for you that you'll probably abuse. Go get married to a lady who also don't have a clue and pump out a few babies that are just the same as you. Welcome to the city. Wow. Yep. We create, we create an environment where depression and sadness and nihilism exist and then prescribe medication that people typically end up abusing, whether it's opiates or uh, mind altering psychedelics like Xanax, you name it. And guess what? Nothing you, no medication you ever get on long-term is ever really beneficial. All it is is managing symptoms. Nothing, pharmaceutical companies don't cure anything. They just manage symptoms. And a lot of times those symptoms either lead to more side effect symptoms that have to get more management. I mean, my mother started with one prescription medication 15 years ago. She's got 14 now. System, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the world, baby girl. I'll paint you pink if that's okay. We'll encourage self-destruction through the music that you play. We divided all the men by trying politics and race. And honestly, it's working awesome. So for you, we'll do the same. Never teaching you to love yourself. Inject you full of hate. Objectify your sexuality. Then blame you for the rape. And weaponize the differences that make our men and women great. Then just to screw with you, erase the genders. Everyone's the same. We'll empower you. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, where to start? <laughs> okay, baby girl. We're going to paint you pink. Uh, and hey, we figured out how to divide all the men with politics and race. Absolutely. Absolutely. The system and the media, which has become its propaganda arm, has figured out how to balkanize all of us. It's black against white. It's black against Hispanic. It's white against Hispanic. It's black against Asian. All of it is nonsense. We are all the same. The genetic differences between the ethnicities in the human race are infinitesimally negligible. It's crazy. We are all the same race. We may have different ethnicities. Absolutely. We all look different, right? So what? Inside, we all bleed red. Inside, our DNA is all structurally the same. Wow. And then, and so we, hey, you know what? That's worked so well with the men. Let's do it with the women too. Ah, but it, and not only will we divide you with politics and race, but let's add a little bit, right? Let's, let's create music and content and videos that teach you how to hate yourself. You'll have body positivity issues. Everybody will be thinner. Everybody will be, more, will be prettier. Everybody will be more beautiful. Everybody will be more successful. Wow. Social media? Social media is a complex for this. It is, it is absolute... Uh, it, it is a machine for making you disgruntled with your own life. Because guess what? Nobody posts on social media their failures. Nobody posts on social media, I got it wrong. Nobody posts on social media, uh, you know, that they really screwed up other than maybe fail army, which are just laughable. But, you know, there's nobody there with names and faces and, and dates and places. No, social media is just the highlights of everybody's life. So you look at social media, you compare all your junk with everybody's highlights, and you think, wow, I must be a loser. And then, okay, let's go medicate now. Man, he's absolutely spot on with all of this. Yourself inject you full of hate, objectify your sexuality, then blame you for the rape, and weaponize the differences that make our men and women great, then just to screw with you, erase the genders. Everyone's the same. We'll empower you with rights to vote. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's what I missed. Yeah. So let's. Let's emphasize all the differences. Let's get you to go out to fight for your rights, your right to vote, your right to do this, your right to do that. And then just as, 
as that's taken shape, let's erase all the genders. It's no longer male and female. It's no longer male, female, and something else. No, 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 no. Now we've got, according to the BBC, a thousand genders, a thousand, which is utterly preposterous because guess what? The entire biological construct is still based on a sexual binary. Procreation is still based on a sexual binary. There is yet to be, there, 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 are, there are those folks that have genetic mutations, which means they may have DNA of one, of, of one biological sex, but not manifest the correct uh, genitalia. However, no one has yet to scientifically show that there is a third gender out there, period. This idea that gender is a spectrum is all made up nonsense. There is male and there is female. There is no third gender, not in any biological or scientific construct, and certainly not in, uh, in terms of procreation. It still comes down to male and female. Whatever you want to identify as, it is still male and female. And so now we teach women and men all of the differences. We highlight, accentuate all the differences. And then the system runs in with, ah, but there really are no differences. You're all the same. Wow. Well, then fight for equal pay, then have the men turn into women and you'll fight for them again. But you thought you had it figured out, but everything has changed. Welcome to the system. Please enjoy your stay. Here's a Bible and a bottle of the cheapest booze we make. Wow. Yes, exactly. For all the rights that women have fought for, Title IX, having, having sports that they can compete in, all of the things that were fought for over and over again in, in, in the late 20th century have now been erased. Now, you can fight for all of that. You can fight to be the best in your sport. And oh, yeah, you're competing against men now. So guess what? People with a much higher bone density, a much higher muscle density, uh, 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 testosterone, completely different DNA that allows them to be stronger, bigger, faster, all of the above. Now you're competing against them. So good luck. It doesn't work. Ask Riley Gaines. Find a man who can take care of you to fill the... Let's back it up a little bit. Have the men turn into women and you'll fight for them again. But you thought you had it figured out, but everything has changed. Welcome to the system. Please enjoy your stay. Here's a Bible and a bottle of the cheapest booze we make. Find a man who can take care of you to fill the holes we make. Buy a house and settle down, fulfill your duty, procreate, and make a couple babies who will also do the same. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. Wow, I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear that. That that line in the verse before, welcome to the system, everyone's a victim. I totally agree with that because right now we are all at the whim of a national government that is beholden to globalist interests and it's all propped up by a media propaganda arm. So they only give us, going back to his one of his first verses where he talked about the algorithm. Yeah, you can vote, you can do what you want, you have, you have free choice, but really our algorithm tells you everything that you're going to do anyway. It's so true in that... Uh, we live in a controlled opposition and we're all victims. We're victims of this national government who's beholden to globalist interests propped up by a, by a media propaganda arm that only feeds us what they want to feed us, only shows us what they want to show us, that props up certain people, certain viewpoints, certain messages, and we get a steady diet of that. And so we're all victims. And because of that, because people realize innately that they're, that they're slaves living on a plantation. All of us are. Black, white, Hispanic, Chinese. We're all living on this, glo on, on this uh, globalist po political swamp plantation. Violence becomes a symptom. And violence becomes a system, symptom for a couple reasons. One, we've been fed a steady diet of hate each other. We're all different. Black versus white. Black versus Hispanic white versus Hispanic, all of the above. We've been balkanized and taught to hate each other. But the other thing is, is that the system ever since the 1960s has started to erase the nuclear family. And we have seen the effects of that. The effects of father absence are violent men. Men without fathers in the home growing up are far more prone to violence, far more prone to become criminals, far more prone to poverty, Women growing up without fathers are far more prone statistically to promiscuity, 
to sex outside of marriage, to pregnancy before, before marriage, or, or even relationship at that point. They have figured out how to destroy us, not only in our minds with a curriculum in school that completely abrogates what we have in this country, that completely destroys us mentally, teaches us all to be victims, teaches us all to hate each other. And then we have the news that does that. But then they've also done it by erasing the family, which is God's design to raise children. The system is alive. The system is alive and well. We are all victims, and violence is a symptom of the system. He's got it exactly right. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Parents are the system. Violence is a symptom. Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong. Welcome to the world, everybody. I'ma paint you black and white. I'ma make you hate each other so that everyone will fight. I'ma give you our religion, let the righteous find the light. But I will also give you science to oppose the word of Christ. And I'ma give you borders, they're imaginary lines. If you cross them, go to war and win when everybody dies. And I'ma give you money that you'll value more than life. And let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system, my whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because every Everything is mine. Wow. Okay, that last verse, I think, summed it all up. The paint is black and white and a myriad of colors in between. Hispanic, Chinese, you name it. They'll teach us to fight each other. They will get us to fight each other. And right now, they've got a it's not just Hispanic, but there's, there, there's a whole new class that they've painted, and that's illegal immigration. And I think people in the inner cities, both Hispanics and whites and blacks, are realizing, you know what? They're bringing in a whole new class of people that are going to oppose all of us again. We're all being replaced. So we're all taught, we're, we're, we're painted different colors, and we're taught to fight. And then we're given, like, like you said, we're we're given religion and, 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 and the righteous find the light. And thank God we can do that. But then there's also this idea, the media has propped up the idea that science is in opposition to religion, which could be nothing further from the truth. Our scientific discoveries, our scientific exploration, the scientific method, all of our learning in the West was born out of a desire to understand God's created world. Most people don't know this. The Ivy League schools were all formed as uh, theological seminaries. In the beginning, they were all there to, to study the word of God. They were trying to figure out, okay, we've got, we understand that God created the world. Now, how does it work? How does it work? It wasn't until the fairly recent history that this idea of, oh, no, no, we're going to find a, an explanation for creation and life that is outside of God. No, no, no. It, it's got to happen versus natural circumstances. And the beautiful thing is with every day that goes by, the more, the more cosmological evidence that we have for the universe having a beginning, the universe being finite, the universe being fine-tuned, just compiles fact upon fact upon fact that there is a designer. That designer is personal. That designer designed everything with a purpose. The more science tries to disprove that God created the heavens and the earth, the more they manage to do it. Wow, this is amazing. I want to back that, I want to listen to that verse a little bit again, because he packed everything into that one. That you'll value more than life and let the 1% have everything while you fight to survive. And then I'll give you politics, I'll call it left and right. And while you divide yourselves, I will conquer both the sides. Can't you see? I'm the system, my whole purpose is divide. What you choose will never matter because everything is mine. That's right. After they divide us up over race, over economic status, over now it's gender and uh, sexual orientation, then, hey, we'll just layer on top politics. And if you don't fight over all those things, we'll get you to fight over left and right. But it doesn't matter because what we're actually electing in almost every circumstance is a uniparty. They have all been the same. They have all done the same, essentially. The difference between Republican and Democrat in terms of their policies is they're parallel with each other. They're just sidetracked. The only difference to that so far has been Donald Trump because he's been an outsider. The only one not to start a new war. The only one who said, 
whether you like it or not, said, I will move the U.S. Embassy to Israel, to Jerusalem. Every single Republican president for the last 30 years has said that. They never did it. He did it. He's the only one who stood up and said, we must have an absolute non-porous border. We have to have a real border. Everybody else has given paid it lip service and then done nothing about it. Absolutely nothing other than open the border more. We are dealing with a uniparty. 90% of the Republicans out there are actually Democrats. No Democrats are really Republicans. They're just all uniparty. And so it's time for America. Please wake up. Wake up and see what's going on. This goes back to Ephesians 5, uh, Ephesians 6, 12. We wrestle not against prince, uh, flesh and blood. Blacks are not my enemy. Hispanics are not my enemy. I'm not your enemy. There is a real enemy. We wrestle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age. So that uniparty that we've been seeing is simply a physical manifestation of a spiritual reality, that there is a principality that is trying to destroy all of us. Wow. Tom McDonald does it again. Welcome to the system. Everyone's a victim. Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all. Here inside the system, violence is a symptom Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all Here inside the system, violence is a symptom Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong Welcome to the system, everyone's a victim Doesn't matter if you're black or white, it hates you all Here inside the system, violence is a symptom Fighting for what's right, but somehow everyone is wrong Wow, wow, that was packed full of common sense truth. I'm, I am loving Tom McDonald. That's fantastic. Please, America, wake up and realize who the real enemy is. Realize that we are not each other's enemy. We are all virtually the same. And it's time for us to start fighting the powers that be, the globalist uh, Concerns that are trying to ruin America, both from with both from without and from within, and the fact that they have bought off almost every major politician. Ukraine has been a giant money laundering piggy bank for them, which is why they're so hell bent on going to war over there. Not because U.S. politicians actually care a lick of what goes on in in Ukraine from a people's perspective. Half a million young men in Ukraine are dead. Is anybody talking about that? No, they're just talking about sending the next hundred billion over so they can keep the war going. Because God forbid Zelensky actually out all of the politicians, Republican and Democrat, who have been siphoning money out of the Ukraine ATM for years. Wow, this is amazing. Way to go, Tom McDonald. I can't wait to see the next one. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, man, he spits some truth out there. And I'm really enjoying listening to his stuff. He's Everything he says is basically common sense. But the fact that he can put it to a rhyme means that we're one step closer for people actually to realize it and let it down inside and to start to wake people up. So thanks for joining me here at Courageous Media. Uh, so glad you have us with us. Please let us know how we're doing in the comments. If there's other stuff we should review, please let us know. Smash that like button. Uh, subscribe and turn on notifications. We're so great to be going on this journey with you. So let's keep going. Remember that God is good. He is in control. The principalities and powers think they might be, but they're not. He is sovereign and it'll all be good in the end. If it's not yet good, it's not yet the end. Until I catch you next time.